So I'm doing a review of Craigslist Joe for the Philly D Movie Club. Craigslist Joe follows a one month long journey of Joseph Garner, who's a director. He goes on Craigslist for a whole month and only brings um, a couple items like a toothbrush and a passport and his laptop, obviously, to um, just live like he doesn't really have a plan other than everything he does he's going to do via Craigslist. He uses it to find entertainment, to travel, and find a place to sleep every night for 31 days all throughout December. The people he meets are like super unique and they're really kind-hearted people who are obviously going to have really good karma in the future. He finds people to jam with that give him food, that give him a bike for free, and they, they all take, you know, some unexpected journeys together, and it becomes a really, really inspiring adventure. It's kind of jammed together, the film, because it's an entire month squeezed into an hour and a half. You can see him celebrate Hanukkah with complete strangers that he treat him like he's family, uh, you see him help out and volunteer at numerous places, including like a toy drive and a restaurant. He doesn't just stay in the United States, but his pathway <laughs> kind of goes throughout the entire, I want to say, rim of the country. And he even stops in Mexico with some guy that he met in New Orleans who's helping with repair, even, you know, after all said and done with the hurricane that we know of but you know joseph is obviously a really kind guy because he gets really emotional looking at all the wreckage and you know he says like some pretty deep stuff about like you see this in the news and you know you hear about it but you don't actually know till you're there and it's kind of a wake-up call for the rest of us who are living in our own little worlds that, you know, there's more out there than what's in front of you. Another thing we see from this and can take away is that not everybody on the internet is some scary stranger that wants to kill you. Except me. It's a really good documentary. Uh, kind of goes by quick. Has some emotional scenes. I will admit I got a little bit teary-eyed at the end, cause it it was it was really inspiring. It was really warm-hearted. It did not get the best of reviews on certain websites, but you know don't let that prevent you from watching it. It's it's really it's pleasant to see, and it might open your eyes a little bit. 